I found a very cool t-shirt design tool that you can use totally for free and create cool designs like this one with in literally a matter of minutes. So if you click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page right here. We have different starting points. You can do blank canvas or different products on Merch by Amazon. I'm just going to select the standard t-shirt so we can see the design in use on an actual shirt. You then get the option to change the product color right here on the left hand side. If you wanted to make a black design for lighter t-shirts, you can see what that looks like, but I'm just going to select black. Then you want to make sure that the auto snap function in the top right corner is turned on. That's going to help us align different elements to the center and to one another on the shirt. And then I'll just go ahead and zoom in with this slider right here so we can see everything a bit clearer. Now moving on to the left hand side of our screen, we have different menus right here that are going to be important. The first one is the template section. We have a few different templates that you can view if you hover over the I symbol. You can load them onto your design by just clicking onto them. If you double click onto any of these text items, you can then delete and replace any of the text and uh, just make life easier by having a preset template right there. If we move on to the clip arts tab, you have loads of different options right here for free clip art. So there's different silhouettes of animals. You get cartoon style designs. So what I'm gonna be using is the mama bear right here. Just click on it to load it onto the t-shirt and then to change the color, head over to the top right hand side where it says fill options. Here you can either use a preset color or click into this search bar to then choose a color of your liking. I'm just going to use the preset blue right here. Then while having your graphics selected or your clip art, you have different options on your bounding box. So this one in the bottom right corner lets you size up and down your design. The one in the bottom left corner lets you duplicate. Then you can delete any item with the X in the top left corner. Or what you can also do is rotate things holding this top right symbol and then just turning your mouse. Moving on, we've got the text tab. Here you have different presets for text effects and tons of free fonts that are preloaded are ready for you. I'm just going to use Anton for our example. If you click onto the desired font, it then loads onto the t-shirt and you get different options right here for size, letter spacing and line height that applies if you have multiple lines of text. And to change what it says, double click onto the text itself. And now I'm going to put bear and change the color of the text to white and then I'm going to use the, the scale function on the bounding box of the text to scale this up and move it around a bit to position it underneath our bear. Another thing you can do is use the images tab right here to upload your own designs. So if you have some public domain graphics or you use a licensed service like Creative Fabrica or Vexels, you can drop any files into here in PNG and SVG format, I believe. But also you could be using my free graphic design starter pack where I have different files for you that you can use totally for free. There will be a link to this down below and also my previous upload shows a bit of an overview of this pack. Moving on to the shapes tab right here, you have different small little shapes that you can use to decorate your design with. I'm just going to select these hearts and move them above the bear and then change the color. This time it's on this top left hand side to a yellow. And then a few other handy things to note are that you have a drawing mode right here we can change the size of your brush, select a color, and then you could custom draw on your t-shirt. It's quite hard to make anything decent looking that way, but if you're talented with drawing with your mouse, or if you have a drawing tablet, then that might be a function that's useful for you. And at the bottom, you have the layers panel, which is quite useful if you want to have designs behind or in front of one another. So in this case, we've got the bear behind our text, and if you wanted to change that, just pull this mama bear layer right here, all the way to the top and as you can see now it displays above our letters. If you're happy with the design and you want to go ahead and download it just go over to file and then download design and you get different options for file types so JPEG, PNG is going to be what you want to use if you want to upload these to a merch for Amazon or Redbubble or whatever because then it has a transparent background. SVG and PDF are vector formats if you wanted to sell these designs on for example. And what's also cool is because you selected the merch for Amazon t-shirt the size size will be the 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, which is the traditional standard Merch by Amazon size for t-shirts. So if you can't come up with any niche ideas to create designs for, then I highly suggest you watch this video of mine where I show you 101 evergreen niches that sell.